I'm not gonna tell you that the idea for this video came to me on my own. This is why I love my subscribers. The person who commented told me, what about the 10 things you should tell a car salesperson when you're doing a deal? And that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. 10 different things you should be talking about with your car salesperson to guarantee that you're gonna get the best possible deal. What is happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and in the description below, you're gonna find resources to help you navigate getting the best possible deal on a brand new car, checking out vehicle specific incentives as well as estimating lease and finance payments. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. No fluff. Let's dive right into it, you guys. Number one, you've already shopped around the deal, you already have some pricing, and you intend to keep going if you can't get to the desired number that you have in your mind. Tell the dealer you're ready to sign today only if you get to the number that you're looking for. Number two, don't tell them you're gonna pay in cash. Tell them your payment options are flexible and are subject to the best possible terms and the lowest overall out-of-pocket cost. Tell them you're definitely flexible and tell them you're definitely down to do whatever that they recommend so as long as it's gonna produce the lowest cost for you in the long run. Number three, tell them that you've already obtained your FICO auto scores from the MyFICO app. I've got the link to get your FICO auto scores in the description below. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because Dealers don't like to hear you got your credit score from Credit Karma and they're gonna be hesitant to quote you accurate payments until you tell them, hey, I got my FICO auto score five, eight, two, etc." So visit the link in the description below to get your FICO auto scores and tell them, hey, I got a 720 plus from FICO. Number four, tell them you're only interested in leasing at or under 36 months, and you're only interested in financing at or under 60 months. The reason why I say this, guys, is that typically any lease beyond 36 months creates a little bit of an issue with the warranty and the overall mileage that you're putting on these cars. So if you're leasing out a Toyota, say, for 36 months, 15,000 miles a year, you're gonna run out of the basic bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty coverage. And if you're financing at anything more than five years, you're probably gonna be depreciating harder than you're paying off the car. Try to pay off the car in four to five years if you wanna sort of break even at the end of the term. Number five, tell them when you're negotiating that you want the total due at start to include all fees and first payments. So if you tell them 2,000 down, chances are they'll finagle some other fees, et cetera, into the amount due at start. The reason why I'm saying tell them do at start is so that they can't tiptoe around the fact that, okay, down means cap cost reduction plus fees. When you say total do at start, it means everything. So tell them that. And if you're discussing a finance deal, as in if you're purchasing a car, continue to say out the door. When you say out the door, it means you will have walked out the door paying that amount. Use these phrases when you're negotiating so that you have a guarantee that these are total amounts that we're talking about here. Number six, tell them you expect a very, very particular amount for your trade. Shoot higher than you actually expect and use resources like CarMax, Carvana, Vroom to give you that baseline value. The reason why I'm saying you should insist on a higher value is so that, they, that you know that you have some sort of backup option to sell your car. And in the current market, just so you know, dealers are really looking for clean used cars because obviously it's a profit center for them and it's easy for them to just take your car, clean it up a little bit and put it on their lot. Number seven, tell them that you do currently have a very aggressive interest rate through your bank or credit union and you expect them to beat the interest rate you've got and if they can't beat it if it's something super super low say at like 1.99 tell them to sweeten the deal another way maybe throw in some sort of like a clear bra or some all-weather mats do something for them to earn your business and finance with their bank number eight tell them you don't want a single protection product 
unless they're giving it to you for free or half price. I mean it, you guys. Any sort of clear bra or any sort of protection package, warranty, etc., can be bought from a third party. There's a lot of them just rolling out. Even AAA now offers real and tire insurance. Check with the third party to see exactly what they're offering. Have the dealership get aggressive on these products. When you see the price tag, offer half of what you're seeing and be insistent that you get a really, really good deal on these packages because they are negotiable. Number nine, do tell them that you will leave them a 10 out of 10 survey and you expect really, really good service in order for them to be able to get a 10 out of 10 survey from you. The reason why this is important is because when they get a bad survey, they lose out on money. If you wanna try and give them a little bit of comfort for them to know that they're not gonna get a bad survey, tell them that you do in fact plan on giving them a 10 out of 10 on the survey. Lastly, number 10, tell them that you watch Ari and subscribe to Ari Genestian's YouTube channel and that they can't mess around with you because you know all the tips and tricks. Just kidding, you guys. But no, actually, really, I have seen it play out where a dealer that I know was with a customer, was with somebody that subscribes to this YouTube channel and my name came up in conversation and they just got a great deal just by telling the dealer, hey, I watched this guy on YouTube. What are the odds, huh? Definitely check out the links in the description below to shop around for the best possible deal. Check out vehicle specific incentives as well as estimate lease and finance payments. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.